know why the tech programs disappeared. Um, I think it had to do a little bit with maybe uh, the, the, the colleges that had engineering pushing to get rid of it. Um, but it did. It disappeared. Uh, I know Penn State still has it. I don't know much beyond that who still do have it. But, and once again, it's, it's more, much more of a hands-on thing where you can graduate from college and go right into a company and be productive. You don't have to be retrained in a lot of different pieces. So the tech, the tech part was a step that I think they were on the right track. I'm sorry to see they did away with it. I think we should go back that way. Why do you think we should go, why do you think we should go back that way? Because it provides a logical progression. When, for some reason, people seem to think that when you graduate from college, you should be able to do a building, a structured building, top to bottom. At least that's what they like to think. As you know, you can't. You can't even come close. You know how to do this component here, or maybe a footing here, or maybe a little bit over here, but you don't really understand the whole building. If you were to start the same uh, professional progression in the 1940s, 1950s, probably into the 60s, you'd be a draftsman when you came out of school. You would sit there and learn how to not only draw, but how to put a building together. You would fit all the details and look at it, how it's supposed to go, and eventually things start to click. It's like, well, yeah, I need to do this, and yeah, I need to do that. Once you got that mastered, you move into the technology end of it, which you kind of you kind of, how would you say it, you, you kind of go from building the different components and putting them together and making it look like a building. I mean, you probably wouldn't want a tech to be doing the seismic analysis of a 50-story high-rise, but, I mean, 90-some-odd percent of the buildings in this country are four stories or less, which is certainly within a tech's realm. So why would you want your most expensive people doing little small projects? You wouldn't. So I think that the way things were set up years ago might be a better way of doing it.